Hello again, my friends. My name is Jamie, and this is my second video on the subject of UPSC. In this video, I will begin to discuss the chemo and immunotherapy drugs that I received, as well as some of their side effects. I will also provide additional information on different drugs used for UPSC and how to find a clinical trial. If you have not already done so, please listen to my overview video, which is my first video. That way you will have a better understanding of the timeline of my cancer journey, which will coordinate with the information in this and future videos. So everyone, here we go. A few weeks after I was diagnosed with UPSC, I had a hysterectomy and was started on infusions with two chemotherapy drugs called Taxol and Carboplatin. This is the usual first line treatment for the UPSC, unless you are allergic or become allergic to one or the other. You can find information about any of the drugs that I mention on a website called chemocare.com. Carboplatin is a generic name and Taxol is the brand name for the two drugs that I received. I named them in that order as you will hear the combination of these two chemo drugs referred to as Carbotaxol. When researching drugs, it is helpful to know that brand name drugs begin with a capital letter and generics begin with a lowercase letter. I was prescribed steroid pills called dexamethasone to take prior to each infusion to reduce the chances of allergic reaction to the chemo. This is common practice and there are other steroid drugs as well, such as prednisone. I took the steroid pills for several days prior to treatment and was also prescribed Zofran to prevent nausea. You can read more about these two drugs at chemocare.com. I received six infusions of Carbotaxol. The cycle was once a week, every three weeks, and the entire process for each infusion took about six hours. I did not feel the effects until a day or two later, and then I was feeling pretty tired and not in the mood to eat. I did develop mild neuropathy in my feet, which seemed to come and go, and after a few weeks, I did lose all of my hair. Chemo lowers your blood cell count, so you will have to have blood tests done before each infusion in order to determine if your numbers are satisfactory for the infusion. Several weeks after completing chemo, I was started on radiation therapy. There are two types, internal and external. I was instructed as to the pros and cons of each one and decided to go with external radiation. I was required to drink 12 ounces of water prior to treatment as you needed to have a full bladder which helps prevent radiation from affecting your intestines. The radiation scan itself took only about 10 minutes where an arm would rotate back and forth over my pelvis. I had 30 treatments, but this number is different depending on your circumstances. Once I completed treatment, I regained my stamina and was doing well until I felt a lump in my abdomen, which was biopsied and determined to be a UPSC tumor. I then had surgery to remove the tumor and had to restart chemo, this time with two chemotherapy drugs called Taxotere and Carboplatin and one immunotherapy drug called Herceptin. We added Herceptin as I tested positive for HER2, which meant the cancer might respond to this drug. I will go into more detail on the HER2 test and other commonly performed tests for UPSC in another video. Taxotere is a sister drug to Taxol. We decided to try Taxotere instead of Taxol as there was less of a risk of worsening neuropathy. Eventually I started to feel an itching sensation in the palms of my hands and throat. I was told that was a reaction to the carboplatin, so it had to be discontinued and treatment with the three drugs was not working well anyway, so we decided to go another route. Carboplatin is in a category of drugs called platinum drugs, and at this point it was decided that I was platinum resistant, meaning the cancer does not respond to platinum drugs. Since I had a reaction to carbo, I could never receive it again. Taxol and Taxotere are called taxanes. I will go into more detail on platinum drugs and taxanes in a future video. I will end this video here and continue with more information on chemotherapy and immunotherapy drugs in a future video. Remember, I am not a doctor and this information is not to be taken as medical advice. This is simply my cancer journey and I tell my story in order to possibly help those who may feel lost and are looking to hear from other women who have gone through treatment for UPSC. Thank you all for listening and I hope to see you all again in my next video.